So I didn't realize this, but when Google acquired DeepMind, the artificial intelligence lab, they created a board, a, a, according to Business Insider, a mysterious AI ethics board. And uh, earlier this week, DeepMind's co-founder Mustafa Suleiman was was speaking at D Disrupt TechCrunch Disrupt in London, and he refused. Who said who's on the board? It's a secret. The ethics board is ongoing. It's something we have internally to oversee some of our efforts. We've tried other approaches. Most recently, we got together with Amazon, Facebook, IBM, Microsoft, and Google to start the partnership on AI. You know, we've often, you know, said, oh, Google's Skynet and blah, blah, blah. But I think even they are a little nervous. <laughs> They've got an ethics board. Last year, he said he wanted to publish the names of the people who sit on the board, but for some reason pulled back. What What is the rationale for not making that It's a secret. Public? I don't know. But why? I don't know. See, that's what I wonder. Of making it public would be wonderful because you could actually say things like, hey, look at your board. It's all white men. And that's probably why, people. right? Exactly. Right. That's that has why. a very different effect on the types of algorithms and how you're training things. I mean, how you're at, you think about ethics. This uh, John C. Havens, we interviewed uh, about his book, Artificial Intelligence, Embracing Our Humanity to Maximize Machines, wrote on Medium, Deep Mind, where's the AI ethics board? He said exactly that. If it, okay, great that you have an ethics board, but you've got to tell us, you know, who these people are, so we understand what your guidelines are. You got to yeah. reveal guidelines regarding ethical considerations. What if Peter Thiel's on there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. No. Um I'm not going to go there. So, uh, <laughs> not today. thank you. Not thank today. You. Thank you. So he says, uh, Google, he says, I'm tired of being angry at Google. Here's my appeal. Googlers, please announce some specifics about the AI ethics board. Delight us all with the experts you've asked to be part of this groundbreaking group that aren't all on your board, Silicon Valley types or technocrats. Surprise Ooh. us with your choices of multiracial, women have heavy, globally represented voices that can spark a conversation about humanity and ethics. Because if all you got is a bunch of people reading science fiction, it's right. not, it ain't going to do it. Well, good point. I didn't even know they had a board. I'm glad to see they have a board, but it doesn't mean much if it's, if it's not. A, a Who problem. should be on it? Oh, Jeff, turn it in into a positive. You know who'd be great? Um, just because I love his writing on AI and just the world, it's Ken Liu. He's a story. He's a writer. Um, gosh, Ken, Ken, let's see. Is that how you say it? Spell his name? I'm trying to think. No. Did, did we interview Ken? I think we did. It sounds familiar. What does he do? Ken, so L-I-U. Yeah, he, Grace of Kings the, and the Paper Menagerie. Hmm. Um, I think you're right. I think sometimes writers might be the right people. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying he should be the only one, but he writes about this and he follows research very closely and then clearly is spinning it into these kind of narratives that that put people at this core. And that's, that's so essential. So I think Nicholas Carr would be good. Nick Carr would be great. He would. Yeah. I also think you want you want people. I think Stacy's instinct is right here. You want people from outside the field too. You want a, mm -hmm. uh, a clergy and uh, there you go uh, historian. Let's get so, a Unitarian um, on that board. Yeah. A Unitarian. <laughs> what are you laughing at? My faith. I was brought I, up I Unitarian. Uh, the thing I like about Unitarian is because the message, at least when they told me, is worship the God of your choice. <laughs> yeah. 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 Unitarian, anything, anything goes. goes. Anything goes. It's the least religious religion. <laughs> that's good. For, that's for me, baby. Uh, yeah. I'm glad they have an ethics board. I'd like to know who's on it. And, uh, and I, I think we can think. I think you're right, Jeff. We can think about there's some people you would want on there. You'd want a Nelson Mandela. You'd want you'd want some people who are great humanitarians on that board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, who's the writer for Weapons of Math Dest Destruction? Kathy O'Neill would be Kathy great. Kathy O'Neill. Love yeah. be good for We want Kathy O'Neill. Larry, Larry um, Lessig. Oh. Larry Lessig. Uh, Dana Boyd. Larry Lessig. Dana Boyd. Dana Boyd. Dana Boyd. David Boyd. Brin. Neil Stevenson. Now we can go on and on. There are lots of people who should be on that board. Margaret Atwood. Mm -hmm. Ooh, She'd be I great. I like that a lot. Wouldn't she be great? She would and be. she's written a lot about these issues. She's thought about these yep. issues. 
Okay. She well, gosh, this? we should have the, the right. AI ethics board episode of Twig and just get some of these people in the room and we'll ask them questions. Do that would be fascinating just to, just to just to record, show a meeting of this group and what they're talking about and thinking. Uh, but here's the thing, Leo. Actually, I don't think it's the membership that's a problem. I'll bet that there is discussion of capabilities that they yeah. just don't want out. That would be scary. Mm, probably. Because Google knows better it, than anybody what these things can do. Yeah. 